Hey, welcome back to another video where I review something. Uh, today I have the Mythic Legions Goblin figures. I picked these up uh, on a little sale they were doing. So I got these two guys. This is um, Snag with two Gs. And this is just a uh, uh, an army builder goblin, basic goblin. Uh, you can customize them a little bit, give them some different accessories. So I'll give you a little spin around. He has some great looking uh, steel or just some sort of metal armor. There's a nice shine to it. Has a beautiful head sculpt and paint. Let me get rid of his spear thing just to make it a little easier. Beautiful head sculpt, uh, bright yellow eyes, grody teeth, big old ears. Uh, the back is just sort of basic plain green, not as much, uh, you know, little dabs of like dirt and the uh, whatnot on the front. You can see it's sort of darker on the front of his face than in the back. Uh, going down his body, it's, you know, it's all just this one dark steel color. Uh, the chainmail in his arms. Let me move that. Chainmail, like, in his arms, near his elbows, and uh, upper shoulder. It's slightly more silver, but not by much. A lot of little dings and scuffs going through the whole piece, uh, even on the back right here on his little, I don't know, tail piece, I don't know what you call that, a battle skirt, mm, little bits and bobs here and there, uh, let me see, there we go. even his feet have little scuff marks on them, so it's a, it's a beautiful sculpt, what you'd expect from a four horseman sculpt, um, if you don't know, they make incredible things, such as the Mythic Legions line, which I'm now getting into. I wish I had done so earlier, but I was obsessed with Marvel Legends. So I'm going to zoom back out. Let me reposition the camera a little bit. I had to lower the camera that I'm used to normally in these reviews, because these are short little boys. Probably about four inches, I want to say. So let me get into the accessories that he does come with. Or actually, let me get into the articulation. So, uh... This is both accessory and articulation. Arms go up that far. The shoulder pads are soft plastic, but if I can get this, they are removable. There's a little peg that it goes into right here on the upper back. So his arm can actually go up quite high so you can get into a good T-pose. Uh, double jointed, I'm sorry, not double jointed, single jointed elbow, but it goes pretty far back. Nice bend. Hand spins around, uh, goes up and down a little bit. It's a good fair amount. This hand keeps coming out. I don't know why. Uh, his left hand I haven't had much issues with. It's mainly his right hand for whatever reason. Let's see, head, it's just on a single peg. No real movement aside from what you can get on the head itself. So look down that far. And looks up. Eh, not by much if you want to keep it on the peg itself. If you, you know, you sort of start lifting it off of there, uh, then you can get him, you know, looking up high because, you know, he's short, so he's going to be looking up, especially if he's talking or fighting to a human or literally anything else aside from maybe a pig. Spins all the way around, obviously. Not much of a tilt, but you can still get a little bit, sort of like a dog. When it's confused. Uh, chest articulation bends forward that much. Bends back. Eh, let's see. Not that much. There's two points of articulation going on. There's this up here in his upper chest and then down in his abdomen, which helps him get that forward crunch. Uh, you know, spins all the way around. Let me get him fixed again. Uh, hips, he can go out, let's see, with both feet flat on the floor, which is, damn, that is like Jean-Claude Van Damme-esque splits, good lord, this is a pretty talented goblin. <laughs> let's see, legs, he can go out that far, and goes that far back, so pretty good option both way. Uh, his little skirt piece right here that just came off is a also a soft plastic and right in his crotch right here it just sort of pegs in 
so it is um, malleable and it won't affect the uh, leg articulation since you can sort of just like slowly pull it out if you want to pose it or something. Uh, on the back it's just one piece. Knees. Oh, that's ugh, very tight. It's good. Uh, goes that far back. You know, he can get a good running position or a kick. His little feet goes that far down and pretty well up. That is a very well articulated foot. Uh, he has the little ankle rocker pivot that I love. Ooh, whoops, he's been getting his leg all twisted up. And I think that's about it for the articulation. So it's a very nicely put together figure. Let me put his other shoulder pad on. Okay. Uh, accessories. Shoulder pads come off. This little neck bit right here, whatever that's supposed to be, comes off. There's just a peg right here in the back. Um, I'll take it off once I get to another accessory in a little bit. Comes with this large silver spear. Uh, not painted at all, just, uh, you know, in this silver uh, chrome plastic. There's a little bit of detail right here on the handle, but, you know, it's not much. So it's not very important. I love this little skull that he comes with. I don't know what this skull is from or what sort of creature this is. There's also this bit right here. Um, it might, does it go on this? It might be, it might go on the end of the spear. I was having trouble figuring out where exactly this is supposed to go, but it might, <laughs> I'm not opposed to it being on the end of his spear. Um, it definitely can't go anywhere else. I don't really understand what this hole here is, aside from the spear. Um, but yeah, it's just a cool little skull. Uh, he comes with two other weapons, those both being, uh, in the similar uh, chrome silver print or uh, molding. It's just a war axe. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna have to paint the handle brown since that's clearly supposed to be wood. But it's a nice looking axe. Nice detail. Nice little nipple bit on the end. And this really cool looking like butcher sword. Look at that. That has seen some battles. So many pock marks and scratches and scrapes. It's sliced down on so many dwarf bodies, I imagine. Uh, cool little hilt. I think it's supposed to be maybe a horn or something. Can't really tell. And then, you know, just these extra. I feel like this is unnecessary. You're going to poke yourself. Why not just have it go this way, <laughs> like the other side? But yeah, I, I love how this looks. This is a great looking... Uh, sword, axe, butcher, knife thing. I'm not too familiar with Mythic Legions. I've only ever had one other figure. Uh, but there is this thing and this thing. I uh, Both of which I assume are for wing attachments that can pop right in here on the back. Um, I don't know if this is also the same thing, if this is like an extender. Yeah, I'm not really going to get into those because I don't have anything to show it off with. And final accessory is this helmeted head. Let me put him back. Can't really see it too well, but you can kind of make out just little eyes. It's It doesn't open up or anything. It's one big sculpted piece. But it is just a big ol' helmeted goblin head. Let me take it off and show you real quick. There we go. So there is the alternate head for the goblin Legion Builder. It's a great looking head sculpt. Again, just like, you know, the wear and tear on there. It just looks great. Although I think I will be having him like this. I just like this look better. And hopefully I'll be able to get another one uh, so I can have both. But yeah, this just looks cool. I like seeing his grizzled face. Alright, I'm going to pause this recording right now. All right, let's get into uh, some size comparisons. Compared to uh, the other goblin, Snag, there he is. So, you know, they're the same height. Um, my only other Mythic Legions figure I have is Eagleless. I don't have his cloak on him because he just does not stand very well and he constantly falls off my shelf. Um, so, you know, they're pretty short little boys. Let me take these guys out of here. Here he is next to a work-in-progress uh, goblin made from the 
Peter Dinklage character from Game of Thrones, and a Marvel Legends Hobgoblin head, which I have not painted yet. So yeah, he's a little shorter for a goblin. Um, some other short characters. Here is Frodo from the Toy Biz uh, Lord of the Rings set, the uh, there and back again. And here is Samwise Ganji from Stranger Things. So, hobbits, uh, they are shorter, apparently, than goblins. Let me get them out of the way. And get this gobbo out of the way. Let's see. If you want to go into some more fantasy, here is... Uh, fucking, what's his name? Geralt. 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 Uh, the Witcher from the McFarlane wave. Or McFarlane line. I did repaint his hair so it is whiter than it actually is. That's a pretty... Substantial height difference, I think. Eh, maybe not. That is a big figure. Uh, here is a Green Knight custom that I made from the God Emperor Doom that recently came out. It's a Nick Fury head on the God Emperor Doom. Just painted uh, some a little bit of green. I need to get a he knight helmet to put on him to be more of a knight. But that's what he looks like underneath. Um, you know, compared to a Marvel Legends figure. There he is right there. Move them out of the way. Here he is next to my favorite Marvel Legends figure, Batroc Zelibert. He's kind of short compared to uh, the other goblin. Or, I'm sorry, the other ones. And here is another goblin. Uh, the Green Goblin. So, you know, if you want to repaint this guy and put him in with your Mythic Legions, I'm sure that would work. Here is the goblin next to the God of Thunder, Thor. I feel like that's a pretty good height difference. And finally, I'm gonna move him over. Here he is next to my custom Goblin King. There is a Goblin King Mythic Legions figure, but I did not get him. And I just like this one much better. This is the Hobbit uh, there. <laughs> I don't remember what the first one was, An Unexpected Journey, I think. The Goblin King from that film. I bought it, painted him to look like this. Made this helmet from a uh, Blizzard World of Warcraft dwarf helmet and a, I think, like a Halo Brute Chieftain helmet and just glued them together, painted them gold, super glued it on his head. So yeah, there he is in comparison to his king. I will have him guarding him at all times and his gross, disgusting stomach. I don't know what I did with Morris, my typical uh, review rating system, but... Um, so I can't compare him in size. I don't know what I do with that little guy. But out of a possible 10 Morrises, I give the Goblin Legion figure 10 full Morrises. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. This is a fantastic figure. If you're able to get Mythic Legions at their retail price, I would say go ahead and do it. Um, otherwise, they're very expensive on the aftermarket. And now I will move on to Snag. Here he is. He sort of has a hunched little back. I gave him two belts. One is from this figure. The other is from the Mythic Legion's uh, Goblin Legion figure. Or Legion Builder figure. I just thought it looked... It suited him. I don't really know much about this character. If there is any backstory at all. He does remind me of um, the Goblin from the Styx video game. Which is like a medieval... A stealth game where you play as a goblin sneaking around a city. Uh, it's very reminiscent, especially his little hat. Uh, so let's get right into this. So, articulation. You can go all the way up, get a nice T-pose in both arms. Articulation on said arms. He has that single joint, but it still reaches back very nicely. And hands. I haven't had much issue with these. The only issue I've had is that his gauntlet does spin with the hand itself. Rotates up. Goes, I'm sorry, it goes down. It goes up a little bit, depending on where this gauntlet is. Um, head, you know, it's on the regular peg like so. You can look up. Although I think I bent his back a little bit. You can look up again, like I said in the other goblin video. Depends on how high you take it off of the ball. Is how high he'll look up. Looks down a pretty good amount. I mean, you no, know, spins all the way around. You can get a nice tilt in his head. 
like he's puzzling over something or trying to figure out how to break in somewhere or looking at something to steal. Articulation in the chest, really not much going on there forward, but he can go fairly far back. Hips, I feel like these are the exact same legs as the Goblin Legion figure. Um, whoa, let's see if I can get him. Here he is with both feet flat on the floor. Don't know what's going on with these little side bits, it's just sort of soft plastic. So, um, yeah, if you do have this, be careful how you pose them because those will mold out of shape and get bent out. Uh, legs, same as the Goblin uh, Legion Builder. Goes that far back in a bend. Nice running position. Uh, goes pretty far forward. Nice positioning. And uh, goes back, same amount. Feet, uh, up, down. Ankle rocker, this is all the same as the other goblin figure. Let's see. And that is Snag. Let's look at some of his details. Again, beautiful head sculpts, beautiful everything from the Four Horsemen. I have no issues with anything going on here, as, uh, you know, sculpt wise or anything. Really, I don't have much problems at all with this figure. Maybe some of the accessories I just don't understand. But um, other than that, I really dig it. He has that big grinning smile compared to the other goblin's snarl. You know, he's just loving life. He's stealing stuff, killing people. He's just going all out. He's enjoying himself. Nice dents and uh, texturing on his chest piece. He has the smooth black bodysuit of a gymnast. Um, nicely sculpted and painted gauntlets, whatever those blue little gems are. I love whatever this is called on his uh, belt hanging down. It's just so intricate, I guess. I mean, it's just little gold dots and some like leather, but it just looks so good. Nice bronze, I guess, side piece. And on this one, it's silver. Both the same designs, just different colors. Belt looks fantastic. Little buckles are painted silver. Little silver bits here and there. Um, I do like that Unlike the other goblin, uh, the little straps on his boots are painted, along with the buckles themselves. Nice wear and uh, tear on his little booties. And yeah, it's just a fantastic figure all around. Uh, like the other goblin, let's see, he comes with those uh, pieces that you can put wings on him, I guess. I don't, I, I don't know. Throw them over there. It comes with a fair amount of weapons. So he comes with this sword. Nice looking sword. Sort of looks like He-Man's sword. This sword, which is just, you know, in the silver. I, these might have come with other, with um, the different goblin figures. Uh, I sort of mixed them up when I opened them. Uh, I can't remember if this one came with Snag or the Legion Builder, but, you know, they both go well together. Uh, I like this little dagger. It's very fancy. Uh, he definitely stole this from like a castle or something. And this super cool looking blade right here. So like all those other ones are just super basic. Not much going on. Let me see. Let me move Snag out of the way so that it focuses. So this is like a blade he's constructed out of an elk antler and added just like some spikes which are soft rubber, which is nice. Uh, not stabbing yourself or anything. And he's just bolted it onto this <laughs> fucking gnarly looking blade. Even this blade just has tiny little scuffs and details. It's just so fantastic looking. This is like probably my favorite accessory he comes with. This just looks great. Um, two shoulder pads. Two different shoulder pads, I should mention and note. Um, I tried them on him. I didn't particularly care for the look. Oops can't say I'm much of a fan. I feel like he wouldn't be... I'm just going to do this because I have those other things on there. I have the straps. But, yeah, I don't I don't know how I feel about this. He does seem like the kind of guy to steal shoulder pads off a dead knight. But, I don't know. I feel like I like the no shoulder pad look better. Just gives him more of a stealthy thief look. And now the aforementioned confusing uh, accessories. Comes with this... This, uh... This horn, this black horn, 
There is some detail, but not much. You know, it's just a plain black piece. Uh, it goes in somewhere. Nothing, nowhere on him. Unless, no. Uh, yeah, so I don't know how he's supposed to, like, hold this or carry this or why he has it. But he does. And then these two, there he goes again, two antlers. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he has these as well. Um, who knows? Why does he have this stuff? I feel like he should have come with, like, like a pouch of gold or some sort of treasure, maybe, would have been better. Because, like, what is this? What is the? What is he doing with these? Is he stealing these from, like, a druid or something? Um, they are soft plastic. You can fit them in his hands. So you can hold them. Is he poaching? Is that what he's doing? Is he just a poacher? All right, and a size comparison time. Here he is next to the Legion Builder Goblin. Let me zoom out. So, you know, same hype. Actually, I'll leave him in there. And here he is next to my little work in progress custom goblin. Speaking of short stuff, here is Frodo from the Toy Biz Lord of the Rings line and Samwise Genji. So, you know, little baby hobbits. Here he is next to Eagleus, the only other Mythic Legion figure I've ever had. Let's see. He has a pain in the ass to stand. So, you know, he's about oh, two heads higher than the goblins. Good hype. Sticking Medieval. Here he is, or I guess fantasy, medieval fantasy. Here he is next to Geralt from the uh, McFarlane Witcher line and the custom little Green Knight figure I put together using the God Emperor Doom and a repainted uh, Nick Fury head. So, you know, he's pretty good size compared to Marvel Legends such as Betrock Zelipe and uh, the Green Goblin, you know. I feel like they might go well together. You can repaint the Green Goblin to look a little more fantasy, and he and uh, Snag can be like a, a crime-fighting... Not a crime-fighting, a crime-committing team. Maybe Green Goblin's his father. Here he is next to God of Thunder Thor. I feel like Snag would definitely try and steal something or be uh, paid to steal something from Asgard. And finally, move him over. You know what's coming if you saw the other video. Here is my custom Goblin King figure. All in all, this is a beautiful figure. Oh, it's just so fantastic. I am quickly falling in love with this line. Um, I don't know. I don't have much else to say. It's just a wonderful guy. I just love him. He's my little dude. My little gobby dude. Um... I think I, I don't know, I feel like I do like him better than the Goblin Legion figure just because I mean, he has more character. This is just an army builder. Out of a 10 possible Morrises, um, again, I lost Morris. I don't know where he went. Um, if you see him, please uh, inform me. Uh, I'm missing my Morris. Uh, I give him 10 Morrises out of 10 Morrises. I feel like that's always going to happen if I review a Mythic Legions figure. These are just incredible pieces of art. Um, yeah, I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.